Well, hello there again, Mr. Griftastic here again with another Google tip or trick inside the admin console. If you're a teacher and you were searching for how to prevent students from sharing docs or how to prevent students from leaving your Google classrooms, this video is gonna explain to you how to do that through the Google admin console, but it's something you need to be a Google admin in order to do. So what I'd like you to do is watch this video so that you understand what it's doing and then forward it on to your Google admin so that they can take care of this for you. Full disclosure, I am not reselling this extension. I don't know the person who made the extension. I just know that it works and it resolves some of the issues I've had over the last 10 years of being a Google admin. All right. In addition, this really only band-aids the problem or band-aids fixing some of these issues with uh, chat and leaving on Chromebooks themselves. And even more specifically, it only resolves it for students if they're logged in to a school-owned Chromebook or they're logged in as their school account on a Chromebook. You know, if you have a Chromebook and you sign in with your personal Gmail account and then you sign in and add that school Gmail account to that, it doesn't actually act the same way. Right, so this is only going to work for a percentage of people. It's probably not going to work on Android tablets um, or iPads. Okay, so what this does is prevent these features that we're going to talk about. And I, there's too many to talk about here, so I'm only going to mention four that I really like. Um, it's going to just prevent these features from loading or working on the Chromebook. So it doesn't completely disable it, it just makes it so it doesn't work on the Chromebook. Okay. For example, I would really love it if Google did turn off the ability for a student or prevent a student from leaving a classroom. And that could be something that's turned on on the classroom specifically. The teacher could say, no, you can't leave the classroom, right? That would be a nice feature that they turned on because on occasion, I'm going to go ahead and presume positive intentions here, that a student may accidentally uh, click the three dots that's required to leave the classroom, then scroll down, select to leave, then accidentally click confirm that they are leaving, right, the classroom, and then that they have accidentally done that. Again, presuming positive intentions. But uh, on the event that they're not maliciously doing it, that's what this extension that uh, I'm going to walk you through pushing out fixes. All right. So I want to showcase what this looks like first on the student device. Um, just to show you that it does work and then we'll jump into the Google Admin Console to show you what it looks like, how to push it out and the process for that. Uh, full disclosure, again, this is not a free extension. There is a 30-day trial, but it does cost uh, for me today at uh, uh, November uh, the 5th, 2020, it cost $200. So I don't know at the time you're viewing this, it might go up, might go down as this developer adds more features it's up to them but i thought it's a pretty cool extension worth showing with my fellow google admins all right so the first thing i want to talk about is the ability to leave the classroom so i want to jump over to my chromebook here and so i'm signed in as a student on my chromebook and you know how to leave a class there's three little dots right here if they click on these three little dots well, it didn't work. Normally, there's a little menu that pops up and it says leave, right? So that leave button has been disabled. So students, no matter how hard they push, they can't leave. That's awesome. Another feature I just happened to turn on was disabling the people tab. I have had issues in the past where students have looked and seen all the other students in a class to try and figure out how to spell names or do other weird things. You can just turn that off. Turning that off, though, prevents the student from emailing. There's a quick button that allows them to email the teacher. It's up to you. It's just something that's turned on in there. One of the other features is uh, sharing docs, right? So let's jump back over into my Chromebook again. And I have a sample assignment that was given to the student here. And we'll go up and we'll open this. Uh, my sample student is little Georgie Washington. And so little Georgie Washington has this document. And normally, right up here in the corner, uh, as soon as it's done loading, there's a share button right next to the turn in button on a document. But you know what, that share button is gone. Now, again, this is just a band-aid solution because if I open up, if I sign in on an Android tablet or sign in on an iPad, 
that share button is still there. It's just gone on a Chromebook. So again, it's not permanently disabled. It's just to the eyes of the beholder, it's not there. So maybe they don't know that it works, all right? The same with the ability to chat, all right? Normally there's a little chat button right up here and the student can chat inside the document. That is also disabled or gone. Now again, that doesn't mean chat is permanently disabled. You, again, you could open this up on an iPad or an Android device uh, or a Chromebook that you've signed in with your personal Gmail account and you'll have the ability to chat. But in our controlled world of uh, a owned Chromebook uh, or a managed Chromebook where the student is signing in with their school Gmail account, we can prevent this from happening. So still liking it. We can also prevent them from adding uh, other kids inside Google Meet. Now I know Google Meet turned on a feature that prevents people from doing this, um, but that option is disabled if you use uh, the calendar feature to add uh, students and you create a reoccurring calendar invite that has Google Meet with students in it. Students have the ability to go in and add to that. It's some fluke, I don't know, but you can prevent that from happening as well as searching in YouTube and an image search. This has always been an issue. I know as uh, I think it was two schools ago, I had an issue where students would look up inappropriate pictures inside of their uh, Google Apps account and they would open up a Google Doc and search for inappropriate pictures and that would sort of just bypass the Google search there. So you can just click one button and turn that off. So kind of a nice feature. And again, I already discussed chat in there. So if you're already sold on this and you say, great, uh, I'm gonna send this video on to my tech director uh, or my tech company or uh, whoever my Google admin is, great. Feel free to send that on to them because the rest of this video is for them. All right, so I'm gonna jump into my desktop and again review. There is about 30 different features here that you can turn on and they're not like little switches that you turn on. It has to do with code, okay? So what happens is we're in our admin console and hopefully you know where to go here. You're under devices, Chrome and apps and extension. You're going to add, uh, you'll click this add the app button and you'll search for safe doc. Once you search for safe doc, you'll forcibly install it. And again, the instructions on how to do this come with the trial as soon as you go to their website and fill this out. Once you do, they also include a list uh, that you need to copy and paste. And really what this is, it says policy for extension. Um, it's called a JSON file, and it's just a bunch of code that is applied to this extension that disables these things from running on a Chromebook. So you can see there is a ton of them up here. The very first one is this value, and then it says um, your uh, license key there. So by default, you get a 30-day trial, I think, or something like that. After your 30 days, you can pay uh, $200. Again, at the time of this recording, it was $200. You can pay that and then uh, have that for uh, one year. So they'll uh, allow you to disable these things here. So just again, some of them enable a dictionary uh, or disable it. Uh, video search, um, something else I thought was kind of funny is you can block emojis, right? Again, if we give the children the ability to do some of these things, they're going to misuse them. So you can get rid of some of the inappropriate emojis. Um, Block the uh, doc link preview. I found this to be an issue. Um, students were typing in inappropriate websites in a doc and then making it a URL. And then when they hover over it, they could see what that window was. So it just disables that. So I don't know, kind of neat. Disables the ability to share, publish as a web, search for games, lots of different things uh, that are built in there as well as that uh, block Google Classroom Meet uh, you can block email as attachments, block Gmail chat, anything uh, that you wanted to turn off uh, on a Chromebook, you could. That Some of these are available in the Google Admin Console, but a lot of these are just to turn this off on a Chromebook. So anyway, once you've typed all this in, then you're gonna go ahead and hit save. They have some other things that they want you to disable or enable inside the Google Admin Console, like prevent uh, people from disabling the uh, developer mode, 
and then prevent uh, incognito mode, and then they want you to whitelist their domain so that it goes through. Uh, but again, the instructions for that, very easy to set up and walk through on how to do that. So again, this company is called X Fanatical, and this specific uh, extension is called DocSafe. So again, super cool application, and I thought I really wanted to share this out with you guys because I know as a Google admin for the past 10 years, uh, I've been searching for ways to turn some of these things off and never did I think it would be possible to create an extension that would just disable it on a Chromebook. I was really hoping that Google would say, you know what, we're going to create a doc and then within the settings for the doc, be able to turn those features off. They just haven't gotten around to it yet. I can appreciate Google for their uh, dedication to collaboration and communication, but at some age group and with some students, that's just not something that we need right now. All right, so I can understand that. I still appreciate Google. So if this helped you out, please give me a like or and a subscribe. And you can follow me on the Twitters at Mr. Griftastic, and I hope that you have a Griftastic day. Thanks.